Welcome to Don't Quote Me On That. One day we will have an intro, but today is not that day. Hello, this is Eleanor, and uh, welcome to Don't Quote Me On That. There is no Kalina today because she is actually in London trying to figure out how to get One Direction back together for my birthday. So you're welcome. Uh, today I am alone and I'm going to talk to myself and try to feel less weird about it. Um, so I have decided that today I'm going to just go through uh, some recently added things to my my Apple Music because I'm not a Spotify girl. I feel like there's not... I, I feel like people don't really care, but sometimes people are shocked. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go through kind of my recently added songs and talk about where I found them, why I added them. Mostly because uh, I spend a lot of my time listening to music, but I feel like I don't spend very much time listening to new music, um, and lately I've been listening to a lot more new music for one reason in particular that, that you'll see, but I don't know, I just think it's interesting where people find their music, because I just kind of found out about One Direction when I was in middle school, and then for the next five or ten years, I just listened to them and people who had worked with them. So, that's really embarrassing. That was not, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I also listened to a lot of Fall Out Boy, which is worse, and Taylor Swift, which is equally as um, embarrassing. But yeah, I didn't really listen to mu new music or seek out new music. Um, but now I have a lot, and Kalina left me, so I'm gonna get down to business. This is, I'm not bitter that she left me. I left her first, and she valiantly took on two shows all by herself, and I very much appreciated it, and I hope she had fun recording them. Um, and I hope I have fun recording this, but I think I will. Also, this is definitely gonna be a, a little bit of a shorter episode to make for make up for that monster of a of a show we put out last week and also because I can only talk for so long before I just start saying the same sentence over and over again and we're gonna try to avoid that I make no promises but let's go uh so the last thing I added actually I'm gonna go through recently added just to my playlist because I just listened to the one playlist over and over again, which is really fun. <laughs> Seriously, I've been growing this playlist since growing it, um, compiling it probably since summer 2021 because I went back to retail for a little bit and I had just gotten AirPods, and I decided I was going to be a rebel and listen to music at work, which everybody did, so I don't really know why I thought I was being rebellious. Um, also, sometimes I would just sit in the back and watch SVU, and like at my register, I would just prop my phone up on my register and just watch SVU, which I think is part of the reason when I went back to school that year, I picked SVU for my master's because it was fresh in my head and I just had so many thoughts. Um, anyway, the last song I added to this was, uh, I added it yesterday, and it's two songs from Kel uh, Kelsey Ballerini's newest album, or I think it's an EP. Um, I added Interlude and Penthouse, and I saw this, um, I picked this or came across it, listened to it. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say so many words wrong. Anyway, I came across the EP from a TikTok. And um, basically they were going through the, the, the EP song by song. And so that there were a lot of 
similarities in writing style um, with Fletcher. There are a lot of similarities between Kelsey Ballerini and Fletcher. Um, and I have been enjoying Fletcher lately, so I listened to it. I didn't love the whole album. I don't love country music. Um, I like it well enough, but I don't, I don't love it, and it has to be good. Not that this wasn't good, it just wasn't my cup of tea, but I added um, Penthouse and Interlude because they were fun. See what I mean about how this is going to be tough to get through? Just kidding. It'll be really fun to get through because sometimes I'll get funny, but uh, sometimes I, I, that's why I need Kalina here to bounce things off of because otherwise I'll just talk myself into a spiral. Um, but you know what? It's my show and I am allowed to do that. The uh, next up is I added a bunch of songs from the new Monoskin album because Clean and I listened to it for a podcast. Um, that was last week. Um, and then I found myself uh, listening to it more and more after my first listen. Um, and then I was listening to it after we recorded that episode. Um, and then my opinion changed on a couple of songs. So if we ever want to do an updated version of that, I'll have more things to say. Um, but I added I added most of the most of the album, actually. It's really good. Um, so yeah, that one I found kind of through Kalina suggested it. Um, which is is weird because I feel like Kalina and I don't really suggest music to each other very often because for the most part if it's an artist that we both like we'll both you know listen to it kind of on our own um and then we'll just talk about it but um like there's a lot of music that Kalina likes that I don't and a lot of vice versa so we don't do a lot of like music recommending because for our similarities we've both kind of mostly found it um Unless one of us wants to bring it up for a show, which also happens. And I think it's like 50-50 on if the other person likes it. But this one I really liked. Um, and I don't think Kalina had a lot of experience with uh, Monoskin either. So, yay. Anyway, the next song, also TikTok, uh, is If We Ever Broke Up by Mae Stevens. So good. Um, I did a little, I did a little TikTok. I don't think I did a transition, but I just, I just did a little ticky talk about it when I first heard the song, and then I just saved it when it came up, and it's really fun. I listen to it very loudly on my way to and from work, and it just makes me feel a little bit better about uh, either having to go to work or the day that I just had. Most of my days are good, but sometimes you just need to listen to very loud music to feel better. Um, and then uh, the other next song is Better Version by oh, both Fletcher and Kelsey Ballerini. So that one's a good song. I, for a while in my playlist, just had the Fletcher only version of Better Version. But then I had the one with both of them and I had to, I had to switch it around. Um, and I have Perfect For You by Peach PRC. I believe it's her newest single. Um... So good it has a Paris Hilton interlude and I'll say I found this song from TikTok because I did um, but more I also liked it because I am just a Peach PRC fan um, so I found her from TikTok and then I found out about this particular song um, from already following her on other platforms uh, but I guess you could call it yeah, I'll say I'll say I found it from TikTok. I feel like that's easier. But also, I am a have been a fan of her for a while, so I would have found out about it. Uh, and then uh, the 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 new Shakira song, um, just the the new one. So I have a couple songs in Italian, a couple and her song in Spanish. Um, again, everything like everybody knows. That, that that song got fairly big on TikTok for a while. Um, 
and it's just fun. I like when music is fun. <laughs> and then also Flowers by Miley Cyrus, I added that. Um, I would not say I'm a Miley Cyrus fan. I like this song. I have a couple of Hannah Montana songs in my playlist, so like, I think more, I really like her voice. Um, and I liked, I liked Flowers. I haven't historically loved most of her solo work. Um, but hopefully we get more kind of rocky sounds in her new music. Because I like that. Um, and yeah, I guess I'd say I, I found Flowers from TikTok as well. Um, next, I added Your Love by The Outfield. And I added it like three or four weeks ago. And every single time it comes up, I've skipped it. And I haven't listened to it all the way through yet. So I think I just need to take this off. Um, but I saw an SNL skit of Joss Hutcherson miming along or like monologuing to the lyrics of this song and it made me laugh a lot and so I added the song to my playlist and it makes me laugh when it comes up because I remember this sketch but I don't listen to the song at all. <laughs> oh well. Um, and then I have kind of a block of Fletcher songs. Um from her newest EP, Girl of My Dream. No, it's an album. I'm so sorry. It's a full album. It's Girl of My Dreams. Um, so I listened to the, the whole album and picked some of my favorites to put on my playlist. Um, and then I listened to um, the sex tapes by Fletcher, I believe it is called. Yeah. And I found my favorite Fletcher song of the moment, which is If I Hated You. Um, but that was the only song I added from that album. And I wouldn't, I don't know, I didn't hear any of these songs on TikTok and then want to go listen to the album. Um, I just, I don't know, I feel like I don't have to tell everybody why I follow Fletcher. We can all make our, make our own assumptions. Um, and then I added Kill Bill by SZA because it's a good song. I I didn't listen to the whole album that it's from, um, SOS, but it's in my it's in my list to get to, but I I don't know if I will. Um, oh, and then this one, um, I added a bunch of songs from the Rex new album. I think it's their newest album. I don't know, it's called Sonder. Um, and it was released in 2022. Um, this one's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so I, a couple years ago, probably last year, I don't know, time isn't real. I never know how long or how close it is to anything. Um, but their song, uh, Fuck Somebody came up on YouTube when I just had music flowing through and um I thought it was really fun and so I added it to my playlist and then I completely forgot about them or like I forgot about my desire to listen to more of their work until like two or three weeks ago I saw I keep saying time frames but I don't know I have no it might have been a month it might have been two months I honestly I don't know um, but somebody shared, a YouTuber shared their Spotify rap really late. Um, so I know it wasn't in October. It was, it was late. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, and that song by The Rocks was on her Spotify Wrapped, And that made me finally remember that they existed. And I have some portions of my work day that I can listen to music because I'm mostly doing emails. Um, so that's when I listened to a new album, and I just picked the new Rex album for that day. Um, listened to it, quite liked it, and then I went back and listened to their other album. I don't remember the name of... It's called Infinitely Ordinary from 2020. So I listened to that song, and I listened to um, Sonder, and I added a couple songs from each onto my playlist uh, that I really liked. Um, and I'm still... I'm still pretty into them the past week I either listened to that album or um 
brush by Mona Skin, uh, depending on the day. Um, a couple weeks ago, I also listened to Crash by Charlie XCX, and I added uh, Move Me and Baby to my playlist, because those were my favorite off the album, and kind of the only ones I liked off the album. Liked enough to keep going back to, at least. Um, I added You Should Be Sad by Halsey as well pretty recently because when I was driving home, I one portion of it got stuck in my head. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I listened to it, but a portion of it just got stuck in my head and I had to figure out what song it was. Found it, listened to it, added it. Halsey is someone, I was really into their music in high school and then it just, I don't know. I just kind of forgot and then never got back into I don't think there was ever like I listened to an album and then didn't like it and then stopped listening I think it was more I just kind of forgot <laughs> um but I might I might listen to more albums but I don't know uh and then Carly Rae Jepsen put out an album in October I just got to listening to it in December. Um, it's called The Loneliest Time. One of the songs I think had a little snippet that went pretty big on TikTok, but I'm just a Carly Rae Jepsen fan. And that's how I found out about that. Um, I think my favorite off that album is Anxious. Um, but also sometimes I get a little teary listening to Keep Away. Um, and then Everybody's Queen, Rebecca Black, put out, um, actually she recently, to when I'm filming this, put out her debut album, uh, but there were a couple singles out, and so I listened to those, and I added Crumbs to my playlist, and I, I really liked it. Um, I'm not quite sure what genre that is. I could look, because I... I, I just, I could. Okay, it says pop. I feel like it's not just pop, though. Anyway. Uh, somebody smarter than me would know this, but I don't, I don't know what music genres are. I just listen to things. Most of the things I listen to are poppy in some sort of way. But there you go. Uh, yeah, Crumbs, Very Good by Rebecca Black. Um... I found this out when well, I started listening to Rebecca Black because she did a remix of Friday with 303 and then that led me to her other solo work um, and since then I just kind of, I don't think I follow her on anything um, to like get updated about the music from like Instagram or what have you um, but sometimes I'll just remember that she exists or um, a song will come up and I'll see if she has anything new out. Um, and then I added a Zolita song from Evil Angel. I added the Loveline remix with Dorian Electra and Petal Supply. Petal Supply. It might. Sorry, the the part of the name is cut out. It's definitely a door in Electra, and I think it's Petal Supply, but I don't know if that's the full name. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's called Love Line. I listened to the whole Evil Angel Deluxe album. I didn't really like it. I I have some other Zolita songs on my playlist um, that I liked, but I didn't really like much of the, the album, which is kind of a bummer for me. Um... And then I listened to Everything to Everyone by Renee Rapp, and I added two songs from that to my playlist. Um, and I started watching The Sex Lies of College Girls, which led me to listening to Renee Rapp, but also I know she's been kind of going around TikTok for a while, so... Um, and then I added Crazy by Dochi or Dochi. I think it's Dochi. Sorry, I 
did no research for this at all. Uh, my friend showed me this song. I really liked it. It is very fun to have on very loudly. Um, <laughs> I've also recently had a Good Girls Go Bad and I Kissed a Girl to my playlist because, I don't know, they stand up pretty well, all right? Those ones I just have from, from deep within my childhood to, to put on my playlist. So, there you go. I think that's the end of my songs. I went back to December, and it's currently February. Um, I do, like I said, I find most of my music from TikTok. I feel like t there, TikTok music is a thing where it's usually not, you know, supposed to be a great thing to be a TikTok song, but they're pretty good. Or at least I like them. I also feel like I don't have a very elevated taste in music, if you will. I just kind of, I really like pop. Um, chances are if you've listened to an album and you've thought, wow, these guys really sold out. That's going to be my favorite album from them. <laughs> um, which, I mean, isn't bad. There's a reason why it's so universally, you know, well-known. Like, some music is so universally well-known. It's because just everybody likes it. Um, but also, I don't have to defend my music taste. I say that like people care. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> But yeah, I also, another thing, since we're talking about music, uh, I really am not a fan of, like, when that, everybody's seen it, it's happened to, to quite a few artists, a snippet goes viral on TikTok, and then um, the song either takes forever to actually come out, or it's, the, the whole song does come out and it's bad, um... And I don't, I don't have a lot of complex thoughts about this. I just have a lot of thoughts. Um, and so the first one, when people are mad that they have to wait months on end or, or however long it might be. I feel like I, I find myself thinking in two different ways about this. One, if it's seriously just, you know, a music artist was playing around um, with a snippet that, of a song that they, they don't even know if they're going to put out or not they just put it on TikTok and it, it blew up. I can understand, you know, if that was the only portion of the song you had done, you know, that taking a while. But then it's also, if it's a huge artist, um, you, you, I feel like you'd have the resources there to get the song done pretty quickly. Um, but I don't know anything about what goes into making a song, obviously. Um, but it's also like, if the song is is really that good, you, why do you mind waiting a month for it? You know, not to be like, TikTok is rotting our brains, because uh, I don't really think it is. Um, but like, if it's really that good, you can just wait a little bit. It's okay. It's not... It'll still be good in a month. Um, and then the other, the other situation entirely where the song comes out and it's bad, except for the one little portion that went viral on TikTok, um, I find that interesting because there's always, like, I don't know, there, there are so many songs where the chorus or the bridge, there, that's the only good part of the song, that's not like a new phenomenon, um, I feel like it does happen kind of often now with TikTok, but it's also like usually there's one part in the song that's going to be a little bit more fun than the rest of it. It's not a new thing at all. And I feel like we all need to just stop pretending that it's brand new for songs to, you know, be inconsistent in quality throughout the whole three minutes. It's just get over it. Um, Yeah, like, I think a reverse sort of thing happened with 
uh, Kyler Ray Jepsen's album, The the Loneliest Time, both the song and the album, but specifically the song, um, a little snippet went kind of big on TikTok, or maybe it didn't, and I just really like Kyler Ray Jepsen, so I saw it more than once. Um, but it's the, the I'm coming back for you, baby thing. Um, that's just one line of the song, and the rest of the song doesn't really st- sound like it at all. And I saw one person on TikTok talking about, I was like, yeah, I really liked, you know, the the TikTok sound, and I thought the whole song would sound like that, and I was kind of disappointed. Whereas me, personally, for me, <laughs> I didn't like the little, the the TikTok sound when I was listening to the, the song as a whole, I thought it disrupted it way too much and it was too different from the, the rest of the song. So like sometimes one line being standout is good and bad. Um, and there are like Taylor Swift songs that I know that I only like the bridge. And sometimes it's not worth it to sit through the rest of the song just to get to the bridge. So I find myself skipping like King of My Heart, I find myself skipping it altogether when it comes up because I really like the bridge, but I don't want to have to listen to the rest of it. Um, But like that's, it's normal. There are also songs that I just love all the way through. I think one song that, again, this is a, this is an artist that I am a fan of, so I'm sure their content comes up a lot for me. I don't know how generally popular it got um but Maisie Peters when she released um oh man not another rock star um is the name of the song it's a very short song but the energy the the little snippet of it or a couple snippets of it went pretty big again I say that I saw it a lot on TikTok um where it's just it's really just a, a little snippet of the chorus I think it is um but the whole song keeps that same energy throughout the like the same energy as the TikTok sound. Um, and it's really fun and I like it. The only problem with that song is that it's only two minutes long. So it's like <laughs> there's a lot of different parts that, that make up a song that can make you like it or dislike it and like I don't know. I feel like I feel like discourse as a whole is is lacking nuance more than ever lately and I do mean that kind of specifically with kind of more casual sort of like like whether or not people like music you know just because one piece of a song is bad doesn't mean the entire song is bad and I feel like you if you if we can't kind of be respectful or at least maybe think a little bit critically about nuances and something as honestly insignificant as a three minute song there is there is not a lot of hope for for nuance in other arguments so it's just a little again not to be like tiktok is ruining our brains (laughs) but maybe it is and I just completely changed the topic throughout that. Uh, so I think we know who we can blame for always getting off topic. I feel like we always knew we could blame me. Um, but I went from telling you about how I find how I found songs that I recently added to how I think TikTok is maybe ironically unironically, who's to say at this point, ruining our brains. Um, but I have been talking for a while. Um, again, just a little, little baby episode for you. Um, I do believe and hope that Clean and I will be back together next week. Um, but then also I'll be out of the country for a little bit, traveling for work. And you might get just Kalina back for a while, so we'll see what happens. Um, but thank you for listening. I have been Eleanor, and it has just been Eleanor, and we will catch you next week, or one of us will catch you next week. Either way, there will be catching. Uh, Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for all of our fun little takes, Um, and have a good week. 
Thanks for listening. Don't quote me on that. One day we'll have an outro, but it's not today. <laughs>